Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today thanks to John, I'm going to be doing a taste test from South Africa. So let's get started. This is called Treats From Home. It's got this South Africa sticker on the side there. Mini International Exotic Snack Box Variety Pack. 21 pieces of premium foreign rare snack food gifts. So let's have a look at what's in this little box. Okay. So I've got a little card in here. Thank you for your purchase. We'd greatly appreciate it if you could share your experience with other Amazon customers. So they obviously do a variety of different snacks from different countries. Here they've got Aussie Munchies, South African Feast, and Cabri Indulger, these other products. It seems to be a few double ups in here. I'm going to start off with the text bar and there's two little mini ones inside here. It feels like it's got, yeah, now that's definitely got wafers inside there. Milk chocolate confection with Aero Center and filled biscuit wafers. Ooh, that looks good. Let's crack this open, show you the middle. Oh, wow, that looks delicious. Mmm. Oh, I love this one. This is so good. Milk chocolate on the outside and it's super crispy inside. Very chocolatey. The wafers themselves are really good consistency. But what I like about this too is that most wafer bars, they have little thin strips in between them of like a creamy chocolate filling. But this has a whole lot of chocolate in the middle of it. So it makes it really unique and different. I love it, love it, love it. It's really delicious. There's these little tiny eclair sweets inside here. Okay, well I think there's just four. Oh gosh, one of them leaked on me and then I wiped the chocolate stuff on my leg. These are from Cadbury's and I don't think we have these here, although I've never really hunted anything like that down before. Maybe we do. Eclairs, are they going to be like a caramel that's filled with chocolate? I am thinking, oh it's very cute. Oh, ah, mm, mm. Mm. I tried to show you the middle but it didn't work out well because I've just eaten all the chocolate in one go. It's a chewy caramel and then on the inside it's got chocolate. Mm. They're quite chewy. They're a little bit of a nana candy in my opinion. Although really I am probably at that nana age already so I should like it. Do I? It's alright, yeah. It's okay taste wise. The flavours are all there. It's nice that it's got that bit of chocolate in the middle. But it's something that I probably wouldn't get. It's a little bit of a nana candy and although I'm at nana age, I've got to be careful. Us Australians, we tend to run our words in together and that just sounded like nana rage. <laughs> of Nana Age. Something I wouldn't necessarily get, but I could understand why people would like these ones. Oh, far out. Where'd that bit of chocolate come from? That's random. This is from Baker's and it's mini cheddars and it's cheese flavored snacks. So they look like little crackers. Hoping they're gonna be really, really cheesy. Baked, not fried, so they're better for me. Oh, well they're very nice and light. There you go. Mm. I like the texture of them. They're really nice and crispy and light. A little bit light on on the cheese. Mm. But I'm still enjoying them, yeah. I think I'm only saying they're light on on the cheese because I'm a little bit of a salt fiend and I love salt too much. They have got a cheddar flavor in there. I probably would like the cheddar flavor to be a little bit stronger, but for most people, I think that you'd find these really nice. Having said that though, I would definitely get them again. They're a nice savory cracker, yum. Knickknacks, and this one is original cheese flavored May snacks. I love the bright metallic packaging. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So they look a little bit like our twisties here. They're a lot lighter than twisties though. They're not as dense, so that's good, I think. They're not the most pretty snack you've ever seen. I like that though. Mmm. Nice cheesy flavor and nice and light and airy. They've got a nice intense cheese flavor in them. Mmm, mmm, mmm. See, they look like our twisties, but they don't have the same consistency as our, twi our twisties. Our twisties, because our twisties are very dense. So these are nice and light and airy. So in some ways, they're probably better in that respect. Mm, mm, mm. Actually, I quite like them. I keep going back for more. I'm going to finish this little packet so quickly. They're good. This is by Uma Buttermilk Rusk Sliced. Rusks aren't made for kids. Like kids when they're getting their teeth and not for people my age they're probably losing their teeth what's that picture on the front i can't see it oh yeah 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 yeah. that's a picture of someone's grandma i think oh mommy and grandma it sounds like it would 
there you go I'll give you a closer look at that it's a very simple classic old-fashioned packaging which I kind of like it makes me feel a bit nostalgic and weird oh that is really chunky it smells pretty good ah oh. tasting there's not a lot of sugar in this but I quite like her it. it's like a sweet biscuit it's really really crunchy it's not that hard to chew on which I was worried about and it does have a very milky flavor to it I love the unique milky flavor that they've got all the way through this like nothing I've had before and I'm really quite enjoying it and I think I would definitely have this again and it'd be really nice like with a cup of tea or something like that really unique really milky tasting love it love it love it and you wouldn't think i'd like this because it is fairly plain but sometimes something plain and simple done well is the best got two fizzes we'll try the green one first which is cream oh no no i'm going to try that second we'll try the strawberry one first just tells me to store it in a dry place but it doesn't tell me what it is this is made by beacon oh it's very pretty oh okay look at that Oh, it's getting ugly. It's sort of attached to it. What am I might... Oh, no, I can't get this to look good. I feel like I say that a lot these days. This is just getting really melty and ugly, and this is why you keep it in a dry place. It's a little bit like a gremlin. I'm just going to have to sort of bite it off the paper because I can't break a bit off. Oh, yeah. Hmm. very sweet nice strawberry flavor not a natural tasting strawberry but i don't really care i don't know why they call it this is so has it got uh... okay um, i now know <laughs> it's got like a sherbet fizzy sherbet thing inside there oh that's quite nice actually you know what if i was a kid this would be my favorite i'm sure well you know it's not good when you eat paper <laughs> i had no choice though it sort of stuck to it and i thought What's that weird bit in there? It's paper. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -mm -mm. mm. That's really yummy. Mm. Creaming soda. This is really hard to unwrap. Is it that hard usually or is it just me? I think because it's super hot and it's just sort of sticking. Wow, isn't this interesting? Oh, look at that. I got it out in one. See, creaming soda here would be a red colour. oh that's nice too mm, mm. it's got a really sweet artificial flavor which i'm loving <laughs> i'm really liking it i want to break it in half to show you the middle but i don't think no no this is just no isn't see <laughs> that's what you get in the middle mm. did i just imagine that it had sherbet in it mm, that's lovely and sweet i think um i don't know what my favorite is i think the cream soda one's my favorite out of these two flavors yo eat some more Oh, I see what they've done there. <laughs> I thought this was some sort of uh, a different language here, but it's not. This is just the way they've done that. It's very clever play on words. It's mini shortbread biscuits, and this is by Baker's as well. So perhaps this is the biggest biscuit brand over there. And I like the tartan packaging. Back to my Scottish roots. Cute little shortbread biscuits. Come on out. Come on, come on. Yeah. Mmm, mmm. Good consistency. Mmm. I quite like these. For a pre-packaged shortbread, it's good because I'm very judgmental when it comes to shortbread. But I'll always compare them to my grandma's shortbread. I've got fond memories of it. And this is quite nice as well. I, I love a good shortbread. It has got a buttery flavor in there, but it's not overwhelmingly buttery. And the consistency sort of breaks apart really easily. So yeah, delicious. <laughs> there's a little baby packet of mentos in here which i don't necessarily think is from south africa i won't try that because i well and we all know what mentos are like and they're very nice and very fruity and sweet there's a cute little addition to the box got some more chews here and they're little tiny blocks oh wow i thought that said nappies fruit but why would it chappies fruit wasn't sure what a nappy fruit was but it sounded like something i didn't want to try now there's four of these in the box let me know in the comments below too if these are popular things in south africa oh it is green you would have thought it was going to be yellow but it's an, it's bright green that's like the hulk hmm oh it is a scum it's gum oh mm. 
Mm. Good writing in here too. What's this? Giraffes and humans have the same number of neck bones. Wow. Did you know that a raisin dropped in a glass of champagne will float up from the bottom to the top? Like what, like over and over again? Who would have done this experiment? What's the point? Did you know that scorpions can die from a drop of alcohol? Well, who did that experiment too? Someone obviously having a few drinks said, hey, look, a scorpion. Have that for little fella. Oh, no, he didn't like it. He's dead. It's cool that it's got all these little different facts here. I like that. It's a fruity bubble gum and it's actually quite nice. The flavor lasts really well. I'm not usually a huge fan of bubble gum because I can't blow bubbles. That's my bubble. <laughs> Yeah, I quite like these little chappy scums. They're delicious. Got a lot of flavour in them. I'm really happy with it. This one is from Mr. Sweets and they are wine gums. They're mini wine gums. More than you could imagine. Ah, uh, they don't know what I'm going to imagine. Have a look. Oh, they look really good, don't they? Oh, see ya. So wine gums. There's see the different little images on there. You can, I don't know what they are. Looks like there's four different flavours in there. Let's go for the green one Ugh, first before they all escape. Mmm. Mmm. Wine gums are really my favourite. Like my team here loves them. Loves them, loves them, loves them. But for me, they're like a gummy candy that I've really got to work at. And for someone that has a little bit of a clicky weird jaw. Oh! <laughs> the flavour in it's really good though. That's a lime flavour, really nice. Let's try the orange one. And it's definitely an orange flavour. It's got a lovely flavour. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I said there's four flavours and there's not this five. I found a red one as well. I might try all of them, but I will try this dark one. I don't know what that is. I said black currant. Okay, interesting. Thought it might have been aniseed or something, but then it wouldn't be a fruit gum, would it? These are really nice fruity flavour. The texture is pretty good. It's not too hard, which a lot of wine gums are. I find them like unbearable, like uh, uh, uh. They're actually one of the nicest wine gums I've had for a while. So I've got two of these in the box and these are Bar One and it's from Nestle. It's thick milk chocolate with nougat and caramel centre. Right. Very similar to a Mars bar or I think in America you call that a Milky Way. I don't really know the names of things overseas. I don't live there. There it is. And the caramel's already trying to ooze out. Break it in half to show you the middle. Oh look at... Yeah, it's got a little bit of stretch on that caramel. Mmm! 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 I like that. Very nice. Mmm! I don't think it's as sickly sweet as a Mars bar is and I think that's because the ratios inside are slightly different which I prefer it in a way. I think this is better because the Mars bar it's too much but this ratio is just right. Uh, hmm. They're probably on par with a Mars bar I think although I'm used to growing up with Mars bars and the chocolate is definitely different. I honestly can't pick a favourite between the two because as I said I don't have Mars bars that often but yeah really delicious love it. So that's it for the South African taste test. I can't believe it's over so quickly. I was really getting into these snacks really delicious. So does South Africa have good treats? Yes they do. Love the selection in this box. Really nicely put together. Very thankful for John for getting me this box because sometimes when I go to Amazon I think oh wow that's a box of treats I haven't tried before and I go to order it and then they don't deliver to Australia. Thank you so much John for this I really appreciate it and if everyone in the comments below could please thank John because without him this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week everyone and I'll catch you next time. Bye!